let's just go right into it. All right. Nope. <laughs> That's not it. Backlog! 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 Oh yeah, baby, it's backlog time. How you doing? Good to see you. Speaking of retro games, this is the part of the show where we talk about retro games and the retro games in our video game collection. Because every game we've ever bought goes into an Excel spreadsheet and say, hey, we're going to pick one at random and talk about it regardless of whether or not we've played it. We have 916? 963. 63, okay. Yeah. Uh, picking a random number, we got 307. 307, and that is... Diablo 3 Eternal Collection for the Switch. Okay, this, I did play this. Okay. Probably for about two hours. <laughs> uh, this game had been out for so long. Uh huh. Uh, so everybody's played Diablo already. And then for some reason, they decided to release it for the Switch. Right. Well, I think because at that point, people realized, oh, the Switch is actually hot right now. So we should start putting games on it. And like, you know, Diablo has been around forever. It's one of the most popular games in the world. So it makes sense to put it on the most popular system in the world. Yeah. Uh, and it was cool. I mean, it was it got it gave me a reason to play Diablo because I probably yeah. would have never played it otherwise. Uh, and it was good. I think I played it with people. Uh, it's not the type of game I would normally play at all. Yeah. Uh, I built my little character. I don't even remember what type of character I was. Look at how muddy this looks. <laughs> uh, this is the Switch version? This is the Switch version. Okay. Uh, it did not look that great on the Switch. I mean, right. it was already a re like it wasn't that old by the time this came yeah. out, but it was like old enough. Um, and it was basically like you're running it on a really bad computer. Yeah, it it ran fine. Everything like was stable. It just you know it's like 30 frames, not the most exciting uh uh, uh graphical yeah Marvel or anything. Uh, and it's I mean you know everybody talk so highly of diablo games and it is really just a dungeon crawler you're just going yeah you're just going straight and you're killing a bunch of bad guys and you're getting loot off of them yeah i Which, was gonna say i haven't played many uh looter uh any games with these sorts of looting mechanics yeah. but the one that i played the most was destiny and destiny probably got a lot of it mechanics from diablo yeah because like diablo and the diablo 2 especially like those were the innovators of the style not like this over the head you know dungeon crawling mechanic that was gauntlet but like diablo took it to like an extra level with like the rpg elements and the looting and all that and the the lore and the backstory and the, the imagery lore. and all that crap yeah uh so i found it I found my live stream from when, <laughs> from when I did it. This is from five years ago, November 5th, 2018. Oh, man. It's from this YouTube channel, the Wolfden Podcast YouTube channel. Oh, yeah. Here I am with the great quality. <laughs> I played this for three hours and then probably never played it again. Right. So I guess this is the character that I decided. Does he look like me? Let's uh, see. I don't know. That's not me. No. Did I play it by myself? I thought I played with people. I guess I was some sort of magic guy. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I didn't, like, love it. It was, like, good. It was, like, fine. But, like, I, there was other games that I would have rather played. Yeah, I feel like this is not a game that, like, would be up our alley normally. Right. Because of all the RPG mechanics in it. And also, too, from, like, a gameplay standpoint, like, it seems very basic. Not ba basic might be the wrong uh, phrase. But like it's not, it doesn't look very dynamic. It just no, looks like it's very bland. Yeah, compared but, to what I mean before that, uh, this is like what games looked like, like yeah. when this game came out. But by the same token, like you know, you look at the the moment to moment gameplay, and like it looks very similar to something like say Marvel Ultimate Alliance. But that game is much faster pace. It yeah. has much more dynamic combat and you could play a Spider-Man. You can't play a Spider-Man. <laughs> you can play as Mercy. Look, there's uh uh the Mercy Wings from oh, Overwatch. Oh, good. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, th I think that was just one of the like yeah. bonuses for getting this version of the game. How does combat work in this? Is it like cuz I think on PC like the original Diablo's on PC it was just like clicking. Yeah, no it yeah, is. And yeah, and it's basically the same I thing. I think here. it's real time. It's real time, okay. but but yeah, you're just mashing. Okay. Uh, but that's not 
what this game is really all about. It's about gathering as much cool loot as you can and yeah. trying to uh, get the better loot than what you have. And this is what I'm doing in this clip here is I am just comparing the different loot that is on the ground versus what's in my inventory and seeing what I want to use. And that's not fun. I, like, I don't care like what game it is. Like that's not fun. It, it is. It you is have, fun if the game is fun. You have to, but yeah, like you have to also do it in like a an easy to understand way and like a very seamless way. Look at how much hair I don't have in this. <laughs> Look at how big my forehead yeah. is. Yeah. What you, happened? You were known for your big forehead. <laughs> my forehead's huge in that. Anyway, uh, just... I don't like. I don't like. I don't typically like games that are looter face uh, yeah. focused unless they have good mechanics and I like the rest of the game. Right. I do fall into some loot holes though. I I yeah. I liked I fell into the loot hole with Destiny. I fell into the loot hole with the first Borderlands. Right. I liked the first Borderlands and then I decided to have a vendetta against Gearbox for some reason. Well, cuz uh Randy Pitchford's a, a dumb guy. A, a weird guy. Yeah. Uh so if I jumped into Diablo when it came out First, not the Switch version, the first version. When, look up when it did come out. Uh, Diablo first came out on Windows and oh. Mac OS in uh, 2012. Diablo 3. Yes. And then the Switch version in 2018. Wait, Diablo 3 came out in 2012? Diablo 3 came out in oh, 2012. Jesus. That, this is a fucking old game. Yeah. <laughs> um, I'm sure if I jumped on it sometime around then, maybe not 2012, maybe a little after that, yeah. uh, I would have fallen into the loot hole, but I'm playing a at this point, a uh, six-year-old game on the Nintendo Switch. Yeah. I was pretty uh, underwhelmed by it. I mean, Diablo 2 came out in 2000. So, I mean, people were starving for a Diablo game. There were only game, two but... years? What? Two th oh, 2000. 2000. Oh, yeah. oh, shit. That's the thing. It took 12 years to get Diablo 3. Mm -hmm. What's a little bit more weight to get it so you could play it on the toilet with yeah. the Switch? Yeah. So... It was cool. I only played this game because uh, I was playing every new Nintendo Switch game at the time. Every popular Nintendo Switch game yeah. that was new, I was uh, downloading it and playing it because I was mostly a Nintendo Switch channel, so I felt obligated to it. Uh, and I liked it. Uh, it's... I don't know if you, I would even recommend it now. Diablo 4 is out now. Yeah. I remember this game, too, Like had some weird controversy surrounding its auction house. Auction house? Yeah, there was... Uh, it was reported that Diablo 3 will feature two types of auction houses. One where players can spend in-game gold, and another where players could buy or sell virtual items for real-world money. Ooh, I didn't the know real that. money auction house was not available in the hardcore mode. Uh, prior to release, Blizzard stated that uh, nearly everything that drops on the ground, including gold, could be traded with other players, uh, either directly or through the auction house system. Aside, aside from certain bounds to a, aside from certain items bound to on accounts items. Uh, such as a staff of uh, hurting need, uh, needed to blah, blah, blah. Blizzard stated that there would be very few items that would be bound to a particular character and therefore untradeable. Uh, did, I believe they shut down the auction house, though. At a, yeah. Uh, they were shutting down the auction house due to a legal issue. Okay. So, yes, the auction house was broken in the beginning, I believe. Is yeah. that only for the original version or for the Switch version, too? Uh, I don't remember that at all. Yeah, I think they might have shut it down... Real Money Auction House is open June 12, 2012. Uh, Currently, we have... Yeah, the, the Auction House was shut down March 18, 2020, uh, 2014. Oh, way earlier then. Yeah. Way before the Switch version. Yeah. Uh, the Switch version gave you some in-game items for buying it. I don't know. Yeah. Uh, and that was cool. But, like, otherwise... Uh, I... It's hard to recommend. Yeah. Diablo 4 is out right now. It's unfortunately not for the Switch. So, you got... PlayStation, Xbox, and Windows. Um, I don't even see Mac on here. Uh, so play that if you can. If you can't, Diablo Immortal is really controversial because yes. it's a mobile game that had really bad uh, microtransaction stuff, like really uh, nefarious microtransactions. Yeah. But I heard the gameplay was actually pretty good in oh, Diablo Immortal go. if you could avoid all of the uh, nefarious microtransactions. Right. So uh that you can play on your phone so give one of those a try if you want yeah. to try diablo immortal uh diablo 3 i know this is going to be blasphemous for, for a lot of people i played it fucking what six years after it came out yeah so wasn't happening 
This, uh, I also I played other games that were similar that took from Diablo right. 3 uh, by this point. So that's why I was kind of like a little under yeah. Because I felt like I'm, I'm playing this legendary game, except I played all other games that ripped Diablo off right. already. So yeah. it kind of ruined it for me. Um, so yeah, I got it because I was just playing every new Nintendo Switch game at the time. Uh, I don't know if I can recommend it these days. Right. Try try one of the other Diablos. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Thanks for watching the backlog, everybody. Bye. Bye.